guys. So Google has recently launched a new tab on Google Ad Manager called Protections, which is basically going to replace ad exchange blocking and opt-in rules. When you go to the Protections tab on your DFP account, you can go ahead and try to search for your publisher information or domain in here. Or you can also try to filter by name type, inventory type, or when it was last modified. For a regular Google Ad Manager account, you only see Protection tab and that's it. You can go ahead and create your own protection and then select Ad Content or Competition as it's specific to your own account. But if you have a network partner management account, like what Monetize More has, you're going to see protections and network level. In the network level, you can toggle on to different products that we support. Display, mobile app, video, or games. And here you can toggle whether to enable or disable user-based data or Google Demand Sources. When you go to the Protections tab, you can search for your publisher information in here. So let's say, for example, that. And the pre-existing blocks or opt-ins will automatically be displayed or you will have a summary in here. To modify the columns, by clicking on this icon right here and select the corresponding columns you'd like to display and then click on Apply. And now let's go ahead and try to create a new protection. Click on New Protection and you have two options, Add Content or Competition. Let's do Competition first. You can give your protection a name. You can do your domain name or the publisher's domain, underscore, and whatever the purpose of this protection is. This is arbitrary, so you can give it a name however you like. Next is targeting. You can select which inventory you would wish to protect. So let's say you want to protect all of the inventory or you want to protect specified inventory. I would suggest selecting specified inventory if you're not doing it for the entire account. If it's just for a specific publisher you're managing, then you have to select this. And if you notice, under the Inventory tab, if you don't specify targeting, it will target all inventory running under this account. So click on it to expand. And you have the option to either target ad units or placements. If you do placement, select the relevant DFP account your publisher is using and select the specific placement you wish to target. Competition block allows you to prevent similar advertisers from serving at the same time on the same page load. So you can select multi-group block and it's going to show you this option that if it's showing certain category or advertiser or brands, then block these categories or advertisers or brands. Now try, let's go ahead and try. Let's say I untick that. You can just go ahead straight forward block certain categories, advertisers, or brand. But if you select or tick this one, that will show you that option. So let's say I want a category that if it's showing business and industrial category, if you want to drill down further, you can go ahead and click that to expand. I want to block a specific advertiser. Let's say Chase. So this means for the selected inventory that I have specified in here, if it's showing a category or an ad under the category business and industrial, do not serve JP Morgan Chase. 
because I have specified that I want it blocked. Then go ahead and save it. Now let's go back to the main protections page. Here, you can also toggle on the status or filter by status. You can say, I want to see all the inactive ones and click on apply or only the active ones. Now let's try to create a new protection, add content. Just the same, you can give your protection a name. Next is you can select the inventory type you'd like to target. If it's for display, app, video, or games. Let's select display for this tutorial. For the targeting, you also specify if you, if you wanted to protect the entire inventory or all the publishers running under this account, or to only target specific inventory. I would suggest selecting the second option in order for you to pinpoint or target your publisher's inventory, unless you're creating this protection for the entire account. Next, select Add Targeting. And here you can target or select different options depending on the inventory you'd like to specify or target. Let's say I want this on a specific inventory. Expand it. Select Add Units or Placement. Now you have the options for block and opt-in. So you can go ahead and specify your specific or the specific category here that you wanted to block. So let's say I want this blocked, this and this. Then you can say update. And then I also want to block specific advertiser URLs. And this is where you specify them and say add and click on update. And here you can opt in to specific ad technologies or restricted categories. It's still showing disabled as of now as it's fairly new and the fully unified protections are still under development. So currently, each protection can only contain one ad manager exclusion. The only groups allowed are groups of ad exchange blocks or opt-ins. All right, then just go ahead and save once you're done. That's it for today. Thanks for joining us. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel and to subscribe to our blog to learn to monetize more. Hope to see you here again soon. Bye for now.